Hello everyone. I am demonstrating here supra clavicular brachial plexus block USG guided. So we should start scanning from medial to lateral thyroid carotid artery IJV. We should identify sternocleidomastoid muscles and then anterior sclenius muscle, medial sclenius, and in between there is brachial plexus. Now roots and which are converging be behind the subclavian artery and those that trunks are forming brachial plexus compact brachial plexus it's supraclavicular fossa so pre-block scanning is essential to look for any deviation from the normal anatomy I am going scanning upward again to look the proper anatomy and it is uh, intersclenic groove where the now roots are visible and then I am scanning down in the brachial plexus uh, supra clavicular fossa and here they are the trunks posterior lateral to sub clavian artery and we should look for to see any vascular structure in between our needle path we should always put a color doppler over our block area so here we are doing color doppler of that area and we have found that there is one vessels when we will insert a needle laterally around the brachial plexus so we should see which vessels is this so I am scanning proximal now so I can see it is a branch of subclavian artery so it is a dorsal scapular artery which is a branch of subclavian artery so when I am coming more proximal to that branch it is no more visible now I have more proximal at enter splenic groove now I am going downward to again see that artery so it is a branch of the subclavian artery so I will be a little proximal to that branch and there we can avoid that vascular structure while inserting a needle So that uh, vessels, when we scan directly over the vessels, we can see the branch and we can, uh, if we will see the down to that branch, there will be two vessels and upward there will be no vessels. Preparing a probe with the sterile gloves or we can have a ready-made probe cover. Then we, I am using betadine as a medium. We can use a sterile USG jelly also to put a, a void a air in between uh, probe surface and skin, and to make a medium USG medium. So now I am scanning for the block. We will put a color doppler to correctly place my probe and avoiding that vascular structure and then I will insert my block needle. So here just proximal to that branch. Local two percent lignocaine making a skin blev.
now the block needle 23 gauge spinal needle attached with extension which is primed with normal saline so my needle coming from the lateral to medial my target is is lateral to the brachial plexus trunks so here my needle tip is coming just lateral to the brachial plexus and here we can inject some amount of local anesthetic after uh, negative aspiration local anesthetic 5 ml I have injected lateral to the trunks I am going posterior to the trunks here I will inject 5 ml of solution that is 0.375 percent of PP vacant total 20 ml I will inject around the plexus so advantage of USG block you can give a minimum amount total volume you can avoid most of the complications and the success rate is much better than landmark guided or stimulation guided block so I am placing my needle anterior to the brachial plexus I am redirecting my needle anterior to the brachial plexus is placed properly so after negative aspiration we are injecting 5 ml of local anesthetic here also you can see a uh, compact brachial plexus are properly bathing in local anesthetic solution some remaining solution I will inject po again posterior to brachial plexus So some post injection scanning to see the sp local spread and I am satisfied with the spread around the brachial plexus. some proximal and distal scanning. So this completes my block and patient is having a good pain relief immediately he has fracture radius and posted for excision of radial head he is he started feeling tingling sensation in all over the limb that particular limb so thank you very much for watching this demo video
Thank you.